What's up guys? So last time we did a video about what you need to prepare before you getting a dog. This time we're gonna do the same thing but with cats. So this is Dopey. And we have another cat, Taro. He's over there somewhere. And this is Kaiju. And this is Kaiju. And by the way, they have an Instagram page, Monsters TDK. If you wanna follow, I'll have the link down below. <laughs> So like our dog, they are our first cats. So we kind of just like learn things along the way. Mm -hmm. So many of you from Instagram ask what kind of breed are they? Mm -hmm. They are actually Russian blue mix. Yeah. They are not like pure Russian blue. That's why they look kind of different from the regular Russian blue cats. But you know what? So today we're gonna share some of our experience with you guys. By the way, that's Taro. So for those of you who want to get cats, uh, what you need to prepare beforehand, maybe you can get some idea from us. So let's uh, let's jump right into it. Okay. So I think the first thing you need to prepare is of course the cat litter box. So both Taro and Dopey, they came in like around 10 weeks, but they already like potty trained and everything. I think for most of cats, you don't have to worry about that. So one of our litter boxes looks like this, and it's not like the regular litter box because the entrance of this little box is on the top so your cats go in from the top so that way they won't take out any like extra litters from the little box mm -hmm. so it will make your place clean and also there's a lining bag inside the box that you can change like every two or three months mm -hmm. so it will just keep your box clean and smell not that bad but one thing though is that this little box costs a little bit so if you don't want to spend like crazy amount of money on cat litter box we have another option here <laughs> that we used one of our like moving boxes that is as a little box yeah that is actually a you know the storage box yeah yeah right because that one time we moved to a new place and we tossed one of our, our like old cat litter boxes mm -hmm. so we kind of need one like in urgent so we use that one but it turned out that it's working out like great on us yeah yeah dopey has no complaint here yeah. <laughs> speaking of the litter box we don't use the regular you know those sand litters mm -hmm. we use the litter that's made out of the pine that wooden small piece it will keep your place clean as well because you know those little like sand litter they, they will spray yeah everywhere. your cats will just kind of like take them out everywhere but the wooden piece that one it will keep your place clean. The next one is the food and drink. For drinking, we use this kind of water fountain. It costs a little bit more, but it will keep your water clean for a long time. Cause we used to use those like regular bowl mm -hmm. for them to drink, but it turned out that you know they wash their hands and they put like stuff in it. Yeah. It will just make your water dirty in no time. Mm -hmm. But with the water fountain, it has the filter and everything in it. So it will keep your water clean for a long time. Yeah. And the food, you know, just prepare some like dry food and wet food before your cat go home. Mm -hmm. And if it's a kitten, you know, just prepare some kitten food and maybe some kitten milk. Mm -hmm. Cause they liked the kitten milk when they were little. Mm -hmm. But I have something that I want to share with you guys here. So Dobi and Taro, they are on prescription food right now. They had like health issues before. So the food is supposed to help their urinary system. Yeah. And that's also one thing we learned is that male cats, they have high chance of getting stones in their urethra. So if you're considering a male cat, uh, keep that in mind. This is a long story. So if you guys are interested in their health issue or like how to take care of your cat in terms of the food and everything, we'll make another like episode about it. Just leave a comment down below and let us know. And the last thing is cat tree. I think this is a necessary item because cat tree, they will make your cats feel like safe at home because cats, they're more like a territory kind of animal yeah. so they have to have their own spot mm -hmm. just so they can feel safe and everything and with cat tree, they can be like high above floor just so they can oversee everything and have their own little spot and it will provide enough activities for them mm -hmm. so I think cat tree is a must if you are considering your cat and there is an extra thing that you can buy for your cat. But they're, I don't, I don't think they're necessary, right? Yeah, they are not necessary. But but, it, but you can still get them if you want. Yeah. So the first, the first thing, thing is cat bat. Yeah, the bat. <laughs> We've tried few bats before, but they don't really like it. Because mm -hmm. cat like to sleep, you know, everywhere. Yeah, they like to sleep wherever they want. Yeah. So, uh, it's it's you, you you can still try it, but I think there's a high chance your cat won't like it. <laughs> 
so there are a variety kind of toys out there mm -hmm. uh, that you can buy mm -hmm. but even you buy it your cats won't probably like buy it <laughs> for example dopey he likes this thing this is the thing to wrap up the cables and everything he likes this thing more than anything else see this will turn him on like instantly <laughs> so yeah this is his favorite toy so yeah i think that's it about this video uh, like I said before, I really hope this video can help you in some ways mm -hmm. if you are considering a cat. And thank you for watching. TDK will see you next time. Till then, peace. <laughs>